There are only apple trees, cherry trees, pear trees and plum trees in an orchard. The pictogram shows information about the number of apple trees, cherry trees and pear trees in the orchard. There is a total of 30 trees in the orchard. Complete the pictogram. So in the pictogram we've been given a key. And this is that one large square represents four trees. And we've been told in the question that this pictogram already shows the information about the number of apple, cherry and pear trees. So we'll only need to fill in the plum trees. So the first thing we can do is count up how many apple, cherry and pear trees there are. And if one large square represents four trees, and there are three large squares in the apple row, each representing four trees, then this means in total there are 12 apple trees. There is one large square in the cherry tree row, which represents four, and there is this smaller square. Now this smaller square is a quarter of the size of one of the larger squares, and because one of the larger squares represents four trees, then this means a square which is a quarter of the size will represent one tree. And if we add these together, this tells us that there are five cherry trees. In the pear row, we again have another large square, which represents four trees. And then we have this rectangle here. Now this rectangle is half the size of this larger square. And if the larger square represents four trees, then this means this rectangle will represent half the number of trees, which is two. And again, if we add these together, four add two gives us six pear trees. So now we can add these three values together to work out how many apple, cherry and pear trees there are in total. And 12 plus 5 plus 6 is 23. Now in this question we've been told that there are 30 trees in the orchard. And if we worked out that there are 23 apple, cherry and pear trees, then this means the number of plum trees will be 30 minus 23. And 30 minus 23 is 7. So therefore the number of plum trees is 7. So now we can start filling this into the pictogram. So if one larger square represents four trees and seven is greater than four, then to start off, we can add one of the larger squares into the plum row. And if this represents four trees and we want to represent seven trees in total, then this means we have a remaining three trees to represent in this row. And if a larger square represents four trees, and we need to represent three, then we can use a shape which is three quarters of the size of this larger square. So we can draw in a shape which looks like this. And this now represents seven plum trees. Now this question's worth three marks. We'll get one mark for working out the total number of trees which are already represented in this pictogram. We'll get our second mark for minusing this number from 30 to work out the number of plum trees. And we'll get our third mark for correctly completing this pictogram.